Hi, daisies. We are going to the farm. Woohoo! Yeah, and who do we have visiting the farm today? We have Rocker going to the farm. She's going to visit her aunt and uncle and learn some things about life down on the farm. Woohoo! Hi, Uncle Henry. I came to the farm. Well, hello there, Rocker. So glad you could visit us here on the farm. Thank you, Uncle Henry. I'm so excited. There's so much going on here. I've never seen so many things. I mean, there's tons of animals and fruit and trees and oh my goodness, I don't know what any of this stuff is. Well, Rocker, we're gonna teach you all about it while you're here. We are so happy you could come. Grand Sally's over there working in the orchard. Why don't we start there first and we'll learn about the orchard. Okay, Rocker, here we are at the orchard. Rocker, I'm so glad you could join us out here today. I've been working out here picking some fresh fruit from the orchard. Oh, what's the orchard? Well, the orchard is actually what you're standing in front of. It's where we grow our fruit. Oh, this? Yes, this here. And on those trees, we have some fruit. Tasty apples. Oh, wow. I didn't know this is where our fruit came from. I mean, it grows from the ground like this? This is weird. I mean, it's just a plant. Yes, Rocker, that's right. This is where we grow some of our fruit. The melons grow from the ground and other fruit grows on trees like the apples. Oh, wow, it's, it's so beautiful. Oh, look at the butterfly. There's a little blue butterfly, it's so pretty. Oh yes, the flowers attract so many butterflies. Butterflies help us pollinate, not just bees. Everybody thinks bees do it, but butterflies do too. And did you know butterflies' ears are on their wings? I always thought that was fascinating. What? Your ears are on their wings? That's crazy. Oh, little butterfly. So if I talk to his wings, he can hear me? Oh, I guess so, yes. If you talk to the wings, I guess the butterfly would hear you or some version of sound. That's really cool. Thank you. Wow, look at all your fruit. Oh, yes, I've been busy all day picking these melons and the apples. Wow, I bet they taste really good. Well, why don't you try one and see if you like it? Oh my gosh, this apple is so tasty and delicious. Wow, it tastes so much better than when I buy it in the store. Oh yes, fresh fruit does tend to taste a little bit better because it hasn't been stored at all. It's fresh from the tree or fresh from the plant. Oh, I love it. I'm so glad I got to taste this juicy apple straight from the tree. Yum, 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 yum. Oh, it's so good. Yum, 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 yum. So tasty. Oh, what's this other stuff here? There's a carrot. Oh, look at the little bunny. He's so cute. Oh, yes, the little bunny. He likes to hang out in the garden and sometimes causes me some problems because he loves to eat all the veggies and the fruit. Yes, the carrots, they also grow from the ground. Oh, wow, that's so cool. Well, Rocker, why don't I show you where carrots and other vegetables are grown? Oh, that would be amazing. I love learning about all this stuff. Thank you. Well, Rocker, here is my garden. This is where I grow all of my vegetables. As you can see, we have some carrots, cauliflower, radishes, pumpkins, and over here I've got a small plant of strawberries and some little plants that are ready to be put into the ground. Wow, that's amazing. How do you get it to grow like this? I mean, it's just so crazy to think that all of our vegetables come from this. Oh, though that's kind of funny. They don't grow like this all by themselves. I mean, we do have to take care of the plants. We have to keep the weeds out of the garden. We have to keep animals out of the garden, like the bunny and other animals who like to eat the vegetables too. And we have to water them, make sure they get plenty of sunshine. So we have to have good weather to grow good vegetables. Oh, wow, I didn't know that. Oh, what's this thing? That's the hose. That's how I water my garden. The garden has to have lots of water to grow good vegetables. Oh, that's so fun. I want to water it. Sure, you can go ahead and give it a try. Just hold the hose and spray the vegetables. Wow, I'm watering the garden. Woo, I'm going to make them grow. I'm going to make them grow even better and they're going to taste super, super delicious because a rocker watered the garden. Well, I'm so glad you're enjoying being on the farm so far. We have so much more to show you. I can't wait to see all the animals. Well, Rocker, here we are with some farm animals. These are our sheep. We have a lamb, that's the baby, and the mother, which is called a ewe, and the baby is the lamb. And if we want, we can shave off their fur and get wool to make things like sweaters for when it's cold outside. Oh my goodness, I didn't know that. That's where some of our clothes comes from? That's right, some of our clothing, like hats, mittens, scarves, sweaters, 
socks. It will come from sheep's fur. It's called wool. Wow, I'm gonna remember that when it's winter time. I'm gonna remember that my mittens may have come from a sheep. So funny. It's kind of smelly over here. Ooh, I don't like it. Ew. <laughs> Uh, yes. Um, we're at the barn and sometimes the animals don't smell so good. It's just part of life on the farm. We get used to it. Ew. Oh, well this is a beautiful horse. Wow, she's gorgeous. Ah, yes, she is a beautiful horse indeed. Sometimes we'll ride the horse around our farm. When we need to get around quickly, we can just ride our horse. Her name is Betsy. Wow, she's so pretty. I would love to ride a horse. And I would love for you to ride a horse, but you have to learn how to ride first. You have to always be safe when you're on the horse. The horse is a very big and strong animal. So because you've never ridden a horse before, I wouldn't feel comfortable having you ride Betsy just yet. But someday, for sure, you will ride Betsy. You just have to learn how to ride first. What's in this basket? Well, in this basket are some apples because Betsy loves apples and carrots. That's really cool, she eats stuff that we eat too? Yes, sometimes. Sometimes she will like those as a treat. Whoa, this is a big animal and kind of smelly. She smells different than the horse, but ew, she's smelly too. Ew. Yes, our cows. They don't smell good all the time, but we certainly love our cows. They give us milk. Wow, I didn't know that's where my milk comes from, so when I have my cereal in the morning, it comes from this cow? Yes, that's right. The milk comes out of the cow and is collected and taken to a place where they make it drinkable for you to put on your cereal in the morning. It's called pasteurization. What? Pasteurize? What? I never heard that word. That's a big word. <laughs> Yes, that is a big word for a little girl. Don't worry about it. Just know that your milk comes from the cow and it gets made into delicious milk for you to drink in the morning on your cereal. Can I drink it from the cow? Yes, if you wanted to, you could drink it from the cow. Um, I don't know. I don't think so. No worries, you don't have to drink it from the cow. I don't drink it from the cow either and I live on a farm. I drink it from the refrigerator that's in the milk jug that comes from the store. Ah! Oh, there's, there's a big mouse in this bag! Ooh, yuck! Yuck! Oh, 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 so gross! Oh, that's also part of life on the farm. These are our bags of grain. This is the food that we give the animals. And yes, barn rats like to hang out in the bags of grain. They're no problem, just pay no attention to the little mouse. I mean, er, rat. We're used to it here on the farm. We have cats and the cats will chase the rats away. Wow, these little, I know what these are. These are little piggies and they really smell terrible. Like really, really terrible. I don't like the smell at all and they feel weird. They feel like a hairbrush. Oh yes. Pigs are not smooth feeling like you would think. When you look at them, you think they're going to feel very, very smooth, but they feel a little bit scratchy. And yes, they are pretty smelly and pretty messy, but we love our pigs and we have them as pets. Wow, I know what these are. These are chickens. I love chickens. They smell a little funny too, but nothing like the pig and the cow and the horse. Ew. Oh yes, we love our chickens. They give us delicious eggs every single day. I can see them in there. I see the eggs. Oh, look at little baby chicks. They're so super cute. Oh, I love them. They make the little cheepy sound. Cheep, 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 cheep. Well, Rocker, I'm so glad you're enjoying the farm and learning all these things about the farm. Yes, I really love it. I didn't know all this stuff happened at the farm and how I am connected to the farm in a way because I wear clothes and, and I eat food and so this is where it all starts. I didn't know that. Oh yes, everything starts at the farm, really. Like you said, your clothing comes from the sheep, at least some of it. Your food comes from these animals and the ground that it grows in. So you are very connected to the farm and you didn't even know it until you visited us. I sure didn't. Oh, what's Uncle Henry doing on this machine? This crazy car or whatever this is. This is called a tractor, and Uncle Henry will drive it to bring things out of the field, up to the farm. Sometimes things from the farm need to go out to the field, and this is just a good way to get around. He also will use this to plow our fields. 
plow the fields for what? Well, part of our farm is we grow big crops in big fields like corn. You can't see it from the house, but it's way out there. And he will work in the fields with his tractor. He'll till up the ground and make it where we can plant our vegetables out in the field. Some other things we will grow out there will be like potatoes, beans, and like I said, corn. We even grow straw and hay for our animals out there. Oh, what's hay and straw? Hay and straw is a plant that we use for our animals. Our animals will eat it and it also keeps them warm. This is hay. This came from the field. He's bringing it back to the farm. Oh, wow. Look at that, it's like a little square. That's so funny, does it grow like that? Oh, no, no, no. It doesn't grow in a square. We put it in a square so that we can bring it up to the house easier. It's called baling hay. We also bale straw. Baling is putting the plant into these neat little squares. You do that with straw and hay. Wow, I didn't know that. Well, thank you for teaching me. I've learned so much. You are very welcome. And now every time you put on your clothes, when you go play in the winter snow with your hat, mittens, and scarves, or your warm sweater, you have your apple pie, or your bowl of cereal, or even your eggs in the morning, you'll think of the farm and you'll think of Uncle Henry and Aunt Sally. I sure will, I can't wait to tell all my friends about it when I get home. Oh, I love it here. Well, Rocker, we love having you here and we hope that you'll come visit us again and again and you can bring your friends sometimes too. We know they'd love it here. Oh, I am definitely gonna bring my friends. Definitely, thank you so much. You're welcome. Well, Daisies, thank you for watching us play at the farm and learning all about farm life. It was so super exciting. I hope you had a great time and I thank you so much for watching my video. Well, Daisies, I have a question for you. Somewhere on the farm, there was a daisy hidden in the video. Did you find it? If so, let me know in the comments. Bye, Daisies. Don't forget to leave me a comment. Thank you for watching my channel. 